This configuration option can be reversed. Take your time and don't rush. Always double check your measurements. Measure twice and cut once. Find your layout in the installation booklet. The double hang is created with two four-foot shelves. The long hang is created by cutting the six-foot shelf to 21 and three-quarter inches. Your cut may need to be adjusted based on actual length required. Locate the three main height locations for your configuration. Measure up from the floor and mark the shelf locations. Draw a 6 foot level line out from the wall end at the 84 inch location. Draw a 4 foot level line out from the wall end at the 42 inch location. Draw a 22 inch level line out from the wall end at the 72 inch location. Mark the stud locations at the level lines. Place the tower side down with the grooves facing up. Secure a cam bolt to the tower side at the whole location. Repeat at the other location and for the second tower side. Insert the tower side into the tower bottom. Insert a cam nut into the tower bottom with the arrow facing the bolt. Tighten the cam nut by turning clockwise. Repeat at all locations. Place the tower top into the notches at the top of the tower. Insert the barrel nut into the tower side. Insert the barrel bolt into the tower top. Tighten with the allen wrench provided. The barrel nut may need to be adjusted. Repeat at all locations. Lay the tower face down. Place the top tower bracket between the first and second groove. Place the middle tower bracket between the eighth and ninth groove. Place the bottom tower bracket between the last groove and the bottom. Secure to the tower side using number eight three quarter inch screws. Repeat for the opposite side. It is recommended to install the hardware into wall studs. Wall studs are typically 16 inches on center. Use a 50 pound wall anchor if no stud is present. On the top level line, use three of the shelf mounting hardware within the 48 inch shelf space. Use two of the shelf mounting hardware within the 24 inch tower top space. Note, one of the shelf mounting hardware must be installed into a wall stud at the tower top location. Center the top hole of the shelf mounting hardware with the level line. Mark the hole locations. Use wall anchors if no stud is present. Secure to the wall with number 8 1 and 1 half inch screws. Repeat at all remaining locations. Place the shelf end template onto the side wall. Position the template line with the wall line and level the template. Mark the required shelf and position for the required depth, 12 or 16 inches. Secure using number 8 1 and 1 half inch screws. Place the shelf onto the hardware. Place the tower onto the hardware. Place the level onto the shelf. Position the shelf and hardware at the tower end of shelf. Flush the tower and the shelf. Level the shelf front to back and mark the hardware location. Plumb level the tower and mark the tower bracket locations. Remove the tower and remove the shelf. Align the shelf end to the mark and secure to the tower using number eight one half inch screws. Install the wall anchors for the tower bracket locations if no stud is present. Place the tower back under the hardware and align the bracket locations. Place the top shelf back onto the hardware. Secure the tower brackets to the wall using number eight one and one half inch screws. 
secure the shelf to the shelf end hardware using number 4 3 quarter inch screws. Secure the shelf to the shelf mounting hardware using number 4 3 quarter inch screws. Center the top hole of the shelf mounting hardware with the level line. Mark the hole locations. Use wall anchors if no stud is present. Secure to the wall with number 8 1 and 1 half inch screws. Repeat at the remaining locations. Place the shelf end template onto the side wall. Position the template line with the wall line and level the template. Mark the required shelf end position for the required depth, 12 or 16 inches. Secure using number 8 1 and 1 half inch screws. Place the shelf end template onto the tower side. Position the template line with the wall line and level the template. Mark the required shelf end position for the required depth, 12 or 16 inches. Secure using number 8 3 quarter inch screws. Place the shelf onto the hardware. Secure the shelf to the shelf end hardware using number 4 3 quarter inch screws. Secure the shelf to the shelf mounting hardware using number 4 3 quarter inch screws. Center the top hole of the shelf mounting hardware with the level line. Mark the hole locations. Use wall anchors if no stud is present. Secure to the wall using number 8 1 and 1 half inch screws. Repeat at the remaining locations. Place the shelf end template onto the side wall. Position the template line with the wall line and level the template. Mark the required shelf end position for the required depth, 12 or 16 inches. Secure using number 8 1 and 1 half inch screws. Place the shelf end template on the tower side. Position the template line with the wall line and level the template. Mark the required shelf end position for the required depth. 12 or 16 inches. Secure using number 8 3 quarter inch screws. Measure the required distance and cut the shelf if necessary. Place the shelf onto the hardware. Secure the shelf to the shelf end hardware using number 4 3 quarter inch screws. Secure the shelf to the shelf mounting hardware using number 4 3 quarter inch screws. Measure 3 inches back from the front of the angle bracket and mark the location. Place the J-hook snug with the bracket and align the front edge with the mark. Secure using number 8 1 inch screws. Place the J-hook snug with the bracket and align the front edge of the bracket. Secure using number 8 1 inch screws. Insert a number 8 3 inch screw into the angle bracket. Position the angle bracket 6 inches or 4 slats in from the shelf end. The position can be moved if desired. Ensure the bracket is square with the shelf underside and the back wall. If no stud is present, Mark the hole location by driving the screw into the drywall. Install an anchor if necessary. Insert the tip of the screw into the anchor, then rotate the angle bracket into position. Secure using a number 8 3 inch screw. Repeat for all bar locations. The double hang garment bars are created with two four foot bars. The long hang garment bar is created by cutting a bar to 21 inches. Double check the bar measurements and cut the bars as required. Insert the bar end into the end of the bar. 
turn clockwise to tighten. Place the garment bar onto the J-hooks. Secure using number 6 1 and 1 quarter inch self-tapping screws. Repeat for all bar locations. Insert a shelf pin into the shelf at the whole location. Repeat at each location. Place the shelf into the tower by inserting the pins into the tower grooves. Insert the shelf upside down and angled to create a shoe shelf. Create your own adjustable shelves. Any excess greater than 24 inches wide can be used as an additional shelf. In an 8 foot wide closet configuration, your 4 feet of excess shelving can create two adjustable shelves. Measure the required size, mark and cut the shelf. Place the shelf end bracket onto the shelf. Using the lower hole location, drill a pilot hole using a 1 8 inch drill bit. Remove the shelf end bracket. Redrill the hole 1 and 1 quarter inch deep using a quarter inch drill bit. Repeat for each end and insert the adjustable shelf pins. Insert the mushroom caps into all angle bracket screw holes. Insert the mushroom caps into the tower side nut holes. Touch up any scratches or cut ends with the stain pen provided. 